much has happened, but what are the sort of high points, the low points? The A year ago, um, roughly a year ago today, I was given the news, um, shortly after I was um, discharged from here, I was given the news that um, Nancy Yoko, who was a nurse that I was working with, she was a nurse in charge in Kenema where I was working, um, she had been infected. Shortly after that, um, she died in Kenema. And so, and that's really um, coloured my whole year in the, I know what treatment I received because of where I'm from and I survived and I know what happened to her, not in just that she died, but she died in a really unpleasant death um, when, had she been born somewhere else, had, if she wasn't Sierra Leonean, um, she, she might have survived and also that she, her and a, a clutch of other nurses and cleaners and doctors, the Sierra Leonean um, staff died protecting all of us from Ebola and I think their story has, has been lost in some ways. They need to be remembered and we need to be grateful to them for protecting us. Even in this country they protected us from that from the disease and so perhaps we should be um, we should remember them and honour them I think. So with that overshadowing the year, it's there's been ups and downs, but I've been back to Sierra Leone working with um, King's College Sierra Leone Partnership in Freetown. And they're continuing to do great work out, out there. They work throughout the epidemic and they're still working out there, building up the health system. Um, there's other people um, working out there, trying to help Sierra Leoneans do the same in terms of strengthening their health system. Um, so working with them was a real privilege. And then I've now come back to the Royal Free um, working in A&E with, with the most amazing team of professionals, um, really compassionate and skilled group of staff who I'm learning, trying to learn from uh, as, a, as a new staff nurse in, in A&E. So what's it like uh, working in the NHS after your experiences in Africa? The NHS is, once you've experienced what the lack of a system like the NHS is, and you see how terrifying it can be to be sick and then not to be a person there that will help you um, free, of, free of charge. When you see, I've seen patients in West Africa so scared because their child is sick, they don't have any money and that might mean that their child is, is going to die of, a, of an easily preventable infection, say. Coming back to work in the NHS, it, I'm working with a group of people that are motivated they're getting salaries, but they're motivated by a desire to help and they go above and beyond every day and every shift yeah. to help people and to be the best they can for their patients. And so we, we must be so grateful that we have this system, the NHS, that looks after all of us, because without it, I think there would be a lot of people that would have much worse lives. Yeah, I'm still in touch. I've got some good friends in Sierra Leone. Um, things have improved there a lot, obviously. They've just discharged their um, their last case at the moment. Hopefully, with fingers crossed, that there won't be any more. Um, life there is, with Ebola removed, is going to be a lot better. Um, there's still a long way to go in terms of making the health system a bit stronger. Has the world learned the lessons that it needs to from Ebola? Yeah, I think global leaders, Obama and um, Cameron, have heard him talk about how slow the response was and how inadequate it was to start with. We Ultimately, we ended up paying the price for that because we had to commit more resources to deal with something that could have been nipped in the bud earlier on. We need to be proactive in, in addressing these kind of problems because ultimately, even if it's just from selfish interests we can if we can solve a problem early on then we're going to save ourselves a lot of trouble further down the line and also there's the moral responsibility of helping people who need to be helped and do you feel like after such a momentous time life is kind of getting back to normal now um life will uh, it will never be the same um but 
I've got a great job and I'm living in a in a great city. Uh, so in terms of normality, that there is that. Um, obviously, I still think about Sierra Leone and I still think about um, the colleagues and friends that we lost uh, to Ebola. Um, so they won't; those people won't be forgotten. But um, there is some, yeah, some semblance of normality with being back at work.